Hi, it's Michael Lafito, author of the book Luxury Listing Specialist and founder of the Lux designation Luxury Listing Specialist. In this week's video, we're going to talk about price per square foot and how you can leverage it on all your properties, but particularly your high end and your luxury properties. Don't forget, if you get value from these videos, as well as perhaps our book, Luxury Listing Specials, please leave us a review. We could always use more of those, just like you could use more reviews and positive five-star reviews for your buyer and seller clients. All right, let's get back to this week's video. We're talking about square footage. I'm gonna give you three examples of high-end and luxury properties where we leverage the square footage well, two of them, we leverage to educate the consumers that, hey, the price per square foot is actually a great deal. And the other, it actually helped us justify the asking price when the seller thought their home was larger. So property number one, this property is uh, just outside of Chicago. It's an amazing kind of a Tuscan Italian home uh, look, feel, and you're going to see some pictures come across. And, and uh, we just did our lifestyle video at this property. And the previous agent, it was on for a year, and the previous agent miscalculated the square footage. They probably just assumed what the seller said or what the tax records indicated, but we actually had the square footage remeasured, and the home came in at 2,090 more square foot, or square feet, I should say, which equated to 16.62%. This home was 16.62% larger than the previous agent was marketing it. And what does that do? Now mind you, this, the asking price is $7.25 million. So what does that do? For anybody looking out there, even high net worth individuals, again, there hasn't been a sale in this town, Naperville, Illinois, ever above $5 million. We just set a record sale a couple months back and had the highest sale there in over 10 years at 4.75. So what, how do you create urgency when there's no comps in that $7 million price point? Well, one of the ways you can create urgency is you can decrease the price per square foot 16.62%, and that's what we were able to do by remeasuring, and this home went from just over 12 and a half thousand square feet to just over 14,000 square feet, 2,090 square feet larger or 16.62% larger. Again, price per square foot helps create some urgency in a slower market. So that's example number one. Hopefully you enjoyed some of those photos. Uh, the next property, the owner thought the home was larger than it actually was. And so we came in and we measured, we use, do, do both photos and video on really magnificent properties. And sometimes we just do photos and the 3D tour. So in this particular time, we did the 3D tour and we remeasured the home. And the square footage came in less than the owner thought, but right about where I thought it was. And that was good because we could help manage the seller's expectations. Again, if a homeowner thinks their home is larger than it is, they're gonna want more money than the guy down the street that's maybe a little bit less. So in this case, the price per square foot was in line with the others once we actually listed the actual square footage. So sometimes the square footage comes in less than the buyer, excuse me, the seller thinks, maybe even less than I think. In that case, you have a more uh, uh, property that's priced more reasonable. So that's example number two. And the third example is a home that we just closed on. It was a former Major League Baseball player, David DeJesus' home. He played for the Cubs, the A's, and, and the Royals, and he did some post-game announcement for the Cubs. And the previous agent had his home listed at just over 6,000 square feet for well over a year. We did our measurements, and it came in over 6,700 square feet. So, so 10% larger, over 10%. This home was over 10% larger, which again, drove down the price per square foot 10% less. So again, leveraging price per square foot. Again, many buyers still look at price per square feet on some of these third party websites to determine if a seller's realistic or not, even in the high end and luxury space. So I hope this video was educational to you. Again, if you're not sure on the square foot don't rely on the tax records. Don't even rely on the builder plans. You might want to bring in one of these third-party companies that does the floor plans to get the actual square footage. My name is Michael Lafito. Keep raising the bar in real estate. And if you have any questions, our contact information is below. Don't forget, if you have any questions, shoot us a note and we'll take, talk to you soon. Take care.